It's 29th of April and today I'm going to Bridgeboro to see Hope. And um, this is the first day of tour for me. I've just woken up so my voice is bleh. But yes, I shall be vlogging throughout the whole day so like there's sun in my eyes and I'm just like <laughs> yes. Definitely stay tuned. See you guys later. Hey guys, so I'm just outside my house, my mum's house, and I'm getting ready to leave for Bridgewater and I'm really freaked out. Um, I'm really nervous. I don't know why I feel very off. I'm very nervous about seeing them and I don't know why considering this isn't the first time I've seen them and I mean, my anxiety is just going off and I'm feeling really, really nervous, uncomfortable. I'm, I'm I'm, I'm, I, I don't know. I, I feel like I don't want to do this, but I have to. I don't know. I'll see you guys in a bit. Bye. Oh god, oh god, that's really <laughs> You stay there. You stay. So Sarah's talking to her bag. <laughs> that <laughs> fell. <laughs> I tried. I need to sort all this so mess out. We're in Bridgewater, we're in McDonald's. I found Sarah. Um, my little pony. I don't know what's going on anymore. Oh, okay. There's no one sat behind me. I can talk a bit louder. I don't feel so awkward. What are you doing, Sarah? Tell, oh, tell, know. tell, tell my non-existent viewers what you're up to. Sorting my bags out because I have about twelve thousand of them. And I like how you're sat right next to a no smoking sign, and you've got all of your stuff well, I'm out not smoking there. here. I know. But good advertisement. <laughs> and I think Sarah has been living on McDonald's because she's got countless amounts of toys. I don't McDonald's. empty my bag, as you can tell from the Cardiff ever. bus ticket. Like, ever. Yeah, she found a Cardiff bus ticket from when she <laughs> stayed at mine. Can you see yourself now? Yeah, I can see myself. Very sexy. Same. <laughs> I'm still bleh and Sarah is sleep deprived so I'm not sure how well this gig's going to go. <laughs> we were like, yeah, we're going to eat a lot healthier on this tour. We went, we had McDonald's. First day. First day of tour. Yeah. So we're in Bridgewater, which is... Somewhere. <laughs> which... <laughs> which is um, day one out of nine out of tour for us. Sunday is Bristol. I'm technically 10 because I'll wake up to Plymouth, they're at Camden Rocks and I'm there as well. I'm not going to that though. Oh yeah. Wait, you're doing 8 then, Manchester. Are yeah. You, are you coming to Manchester now? No. No, no it's because of you keep saying 9. Oh, shoot, I'm confused. confused. Seriously, I completely spaced that, um, so, that Fort Hope were in Bristol on Sunday. I was like... Oh yeah. I was like, well... Ugh. So yeah, this tour is going to go well. Uh, John hasn't answered my DM, which is great. <laughs> thanks. <laughs> and I said thanks then, I'm like, what? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, god damn it, thanks. How dare you not answer John's DM? It's really thanks. Where are you lot? And I've just messaged Jammers and just been like, what time are you getting to the venue? Which doesn't open till five, and I already want to just curl up into a ball and hibernate for a good few years. So this is not going well. And then we're already drinking. I'm like, great. Who are? Full hope. Are they drinking already? Well, I'm guessing from those Snapchats. What Snapchats? The Snapchats you showed me. Yeah, but so yeah. half of them were from yesterday. Oh, I thought they were from today. No. Oh. The only one that was from today was them um, not having been given a free drink from placing a lemon. A lemon? By, by placing 20p on a lemon. I don't know where they are. Oh. I want to balance 20p on a lemon. Yeah, but they didn't get a free drink since John's angry tweet. <laughs> so it was pointless. I'll get angry with them if they don't give me a free drink. So we'll see you later when we probably find someone. Some, yeah. Some life out there. <laughs> 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 right, I'm going. This is just okay. turning into a ramble. Yeah, outside the venue, Fort Hope's in there somewhere. 
somewhere in there. I don't know where, but yeah. Now what have you done? <laughs> she told me to do that. <laughs> oh, oh my, that's how look. I did not mean to do that, it went terribly wrong. What, wow. <laughs> that doesn't thing happened there. That was beautiful. <laughs> Oh, oh my god. <laughs> that is just beautiful. Wait, hang on, there's a glare, there's a glare. Move it, move it. Oh, that is just so beautiful. That is not what I meant to do. That's just beautiful. Right, let me try doing properly this time. If you say so. So, I'm yeah, that's good. This is the dingy card, and I'm scared someone's gonna walk out, and I'm just here with the camera talking. <laughs> hey, and tonight is for Hope at the Louisiana. <sighs> I, I I I have no words. I'm just like, ugh. I'll be alright once again. I'll be alright. <clears throat> uh, Bridge War is really good. I mean, no, we were like the only two fans that were there for Full Hope. Which was really awkward because I felt so bad for them and I was like, oh no, there's only us. <sighs> So, Bridge War was really good. I got so many hugs. Oh, so many John hugs as well. That was like. Uh, Sarah's just got on her coach to Bristol, so I had to pick her up in Bristol at 11. So I'll be leaving at half 10. We'll probably grab some food in town and then head straight to the venue and like. And then see Full Hope and get photos because. Bridge Wall was my 10th show and it was so intimate and amazing and oh my god they were on form they were so so good and um we didn't get photos but I got a drumstick and like a flyer and our John wrote like a really cute note on my set list and <sighs> I just loved them like the thing I love about them is that since I came out as trans there's no, oh, we're going to treat you like a trans person immediately. They just treat me like any other guy, and I love it. Like, <laughs> like, there's no bringing up that I'm trans. It's just automatically that I am male, and that's how they see me, and that makes me feel so, so happy. Like, I wish more people did that. So, yeah. Um, <laughs> so I'll see you guys later. Just got off the bus and I'm walking up to meet Sarah. Um, she's about five, five, five minutes away. So I'm just walking past the, where am I? I'm just walking past the Hippodrome. And I'm going up find Colston Hall. I'm picking up Sarah and I think we're going to go get food and then we're heading to Louisiana. So I'll vlog later when I'm with Sarah. See you guys later. Hey, and Sarah. Hi. That one came out wrong. It was meant to be Sarah on it. Oh. Door disease is here. Yep. Today's going to go well then. I was going to fall asleep like, bye. I'm sitting there going, yeah, keep freezing down. Please. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder what time they'll get to the venue. It's normally one ish, I think. Yeah. Have they left London yet? What are you saying in London? Oh. Well, I don't know. They played in London, so they might have done. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. No, they're all in Gryffindor. Maybe Simon the Ravenclaw, but I have a feeling John and Jamie would be Gryffindor. Yeah. Yeah, they would be. Yeah. <laughs> and someone else would be in Slytherin. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> you know who I mean. I know exactly who you mean. And a few other people we know would be in Slytherin too. Too many people I know would be. Exactly. Bloody Slytherin. <laughs> How dare they. So we're outside the venue and we've just been tried out by a creepy old dude. And Ellie told him to get lost. <laughs> Ellie's, now the, Ellie's now the bodyguard. So... We're, you're now the bodyguard. Anyone starts anything, I'll set you on them. Because <laughs> I'll just be here like, please leave me alone. What would have happened if <laughs> she would have decked in the face? Oh dear. So the lads ain't here yet. What a surprise. We need them. Yeah, we needed Jamie and John because you know they're really muscly. 
tall. Yeah, and tall. I could have hid behind John and just been like, oh. I always hide behind people. That's like a part of being tall. Yeah, yeah. But the best part was, this dude was just like, oh, I like young, beautiful women. I was so freaking, I'm not even a woman, leave me alone. And then he was like, I'm 66. And I was like, you're a pervert. <laughs> only on the Full Hope Tour. And this is only day two out of eight and nine. So. Wow. Manchester, you just get screamed at by homeless men because you don't give them money. Great, sounds well, fun. Plymouth, I've never been there, I don't know. Plymouth isn't very great either. Where else have we got? St Albans, I've never been there, I don't know. Uh, I don't know! Where else have we got? Bir Birmingham. Birmingham's not that bad. No. Well, the bit of Birmingham we went to. Where else have we gone? Swansea. Ugh. Swansea, you'll probably get shanked or stabbed. Bridge End is like a tiny little thing apparently, so hopefully there's just nobody around in general. Who's hoping? Where else are we going? London, oh London, yeah. London you'll get shanked. You'll get stabbed just for staring at someone in London. You get London, you get, you get lunged? That's what I meant to say. Yeah. You get stabbed for getting off the tube. So yeah, well, so yes. That's that's the start of day two experience right there. I'm still really sad my best friend is not here anymore. R.I.P. Matt and Peter. <laughs> They're not on this tour and MJ's not here today either. And I'm like, no! Miss you, MJ. <laughs> Same. 